have come to remind you that irrespective of what you may be passing through at this time that God have not finished with you you must cultivate the companionship of other dreamers you cannot have a big dream and walk with people that have no dream in life your God is capable of keeping you don't be afraid why are you downcast why are you disturbed why are you still praying why are you still praising God why have you not observed the moment of quiet time just because of what we are passing through in the world there is hope for every child of God irrespective of what you are passing through had a bigger dream concerning your life concerning your destiny concerning your marriage concerning your children concerning your business don't be moved by the present situation but be moved by the word of God don't be afraid don't lose hope don't lose sight of your dream uh, Reverend Chinando Karafo is a long-standing friend uh, we knew ourselves as far back as 1995 and between that time and now we have been together in the ministry uh, he's a lovely friend uh, a pastor you can rely on a friend that you can call even in the middle of the night and ask for either advice or assistance encouragement or whatever is always there i am elder mrs margaret Ogunu, uh the convener of the send forth and reception committee of lagos presbyterian church yaba i want to say that reverend chinedu okora for has done so much since he became minister in charge as also i am also the convener of the medical committee and I know anytime I call upon him when there's a member in need of help in the health sector, he's always there. He has used his own money, salary, to help people, to pay for bills in the hospital, praying for them, going to their homes and encouraging them. That, I, I think, has been a huge impact on the lives of members every member feels his impact and as we are preparing for this send forth i hear comments like can his tenor be extended and that i think is because of the impact he has made reverend uh, always come down to our to one's level and he advised where necessary to me reverend chilido kora for is um he has a figure of a father, he has a figure of a friend, and he also has a figure of a pastor. In whichever capacity you want him, he will be all that to you, 100%. Reverend Chinedo Kurafo is, um, is a pastor. Um, he has his own ministry. And I think he's really a pastor. He may not be everything to everybody, but I think that word summarizes who he is. He's a pastor. My name is Elder Manuel Mwabiku Norom. And with me also is my wife, Elder Mrs. Florence I. Norom. We are both elders of the Lagos Presbyterian Church, Yaba. And uh, I'm also a trustee of the Presbyterian Church of Nigeria. I think from the beginning, the first sermon he preached still rings a bell. When he said he came here to minister to us and to take as many people to heaven with him, that still rings a bell. And if you watch his messages and uh, what God has been speaking through him, it's just the same way, you know, uh, preaching about salvation, preaching about holiness, preaching about helping each other in this race and it's, it's just been amazing it's not somebody cut out for any uh, so much of uh, prosperity 
not that it's not good but also what is important is the soul of the individuals so i think that has resonated all through his period and i'm happy to say he has done very very well he's been a friend he's been a father he's been our pastor he's been our husband he has a wonderful place in his heart for the widows. Reverend Chinedu is a selfless man and the wife is, they are all, they, they, they both fit, fit each other so much that they have impacted us as a couple. He has this wonderful, amazing wife. For him to succeed today is because he has a woman that is very, very supportive and caring behind him. For Reverend Chidedu, is such a godsend to this uh, parish. We love him. He's full of emulation. Such a wonderful man, very, very humble. He loves people dearly. He's one minister that gives. If he wants to raise money, he will be the first to give. And that, that, that attribute really, really endeared him to my heart. So whenever he calls for any support within my capacity by the grace of God, I would always give that lending hand because I, that's, that's leadership by example. Words are not enough to express our thanks and appreciation for him, how he has gone, done so much for the youth. Um, in particular, I remember him um, going out of his way to be there for some of our members that were bereaved, who called him very early in early hours of the day, 2 a.m., 4 a.m., and he was around. He was available to follow them to the hospital. He was available to make sure that everybody has a sense of belonging in the church. And we see him as a model pastor because he truly takes care of his sheep that God has given and entrusted into his hands. And anywhere we go, any opportunity we have, we'll always make sure that we show our appreciation for him, even as youths. Uh, first of all, being the board chairman, and if you know, living living at where I live in Ikurudu, I think he has um, impacted on me so much. One of the great things he has done in my life is to increase my passion for the church. I visit the church virtually every day to make sure things are running. He calls me virtually every day to discuss one or two things about the church, about the church maintenance, about issues in the church, about the welfare of members, he carries me along. And to a great extent, that has, uh, his leadership has greatly impacted me. He's a very passionate person. Anything that he sets out to do, he does it well. And he's a very transparent and he's a very open person. He's our backbone. Without him, I don't think um, the media minister will have been where it is today. Whenever we call on him, he's always there to ensure that we have everything that we need. And this is um, evident in all what we are doing. And today, the world knows Presbyterian Church Yaba, the media ministry, because of the Reverend Chinedu Okorafo. The Right Reverend Dr. Chinedu Okorafo, um, working with the Superintendent of the Media Ministry, um, Elder James Okwara, um, transformed the ministry and also the church at large and today the church is um, media friendly and is still improving the way he relates even with the people around the the, the people the miscreants around there was an issue when um, somebody came and wanted to um, harass the minister in church but just because of the way he relate with the miscreants so to say the people turned around and sheltered him and even wanted to cause riot and asked the minister to give him a chance. Meaning that it does not only affect our church members, but it goes on to affect even the miscreants around, so that the miscreants themselves pay obeyance to him. So to a large extent, he has um, his character is a shining example to anybody that have studied him for, for, for the time being. My last message is for him to continue this way 
and ask God for more grace. Man of God, the Lord is your strength. He will go with you. Focus on your focus and also know that heaven is the destination. No matter the distractions may come your way, I pray that God Almighty will keep you and make you rapturable and your household in Jesus' name. I'll miss him. I'll miss him. <laughs>